We're going to do a brief overview of an inspection. There'll be a, a more intense video coming. Uh, right now, we're just going to go over it quick. Uh, under the hood, you want to check the engine, both sides, for oil fluid leaks. Uh, engine oil dipstick is here. Uh, power steering fluid dipstick is here. You want to look your belts over while you're under here. Make sure they're in place in one piece and not frayed. You can rock your steering, call them back and forth and check your front end. Check your suspension. Make sure nothing's bro broken, loose, working around. You can look at your brakes. Check your steer tires. Just overall condition of everything under the hood. Uh, you work back look for anything that looks out of place. Uh, we get back behind the cab. We get dinged a lot on these airlines behind the cab. If they're moving against each other or, or something stationary on the truck, if it's moving enough to create a shiny spot and clean the dirt off, then that's a violation. Uh, usually, if it's something like that, just a cable tie around it where it's working, it holds them together, keeps them from moving, it'll take care of it. It's not an issue. Uh, one of the easiest things to check on the truck and we get too many violations of it is the inspection stickers on the trailer. We have way too many trailers running around with expired inspection stickers and it's real, literally the easiest thing. You can check it driving up to the trailer or you're standing right here when you're hooking the airlines up. It's right there. Uh, this is a federal sticker. The date on that is the date it was inspected. This is 12 of 2018 so it expires at 12 of 2019. If you have a state sticker, the date cut out will be the date it expires, and those would be a main sticker. Uh, coming back, you want to just check your tires, inflation, wear. If you don't have a pressure gauge and you want one, get with a the shot, they'll set you up. You can check your suspension and your brakes under here, your fifth wheel. Uh, check your cross members by your landing gear. Make sure nothing's broke, loose, hanging. Uh, check your tail lights on your truck. Coming back. Just overall, check all your rivets on the side. Just general looking over of everything. When you get back here, we get dinged here too on these tandem hoses. The hoses that go from the suspension to the frame. Now these get stretched out and recoiled and stretched out and recoiled. Every time we slide the tandems back and forth. And it has a tendency to work the keepers around. And if you don't watch them, they'll work so the airlines are chafing against each other. And that creates a violation, which is an issue. Back here, you cuss every hub, you want to check your lug nuts, check for oil leaks, you look at your suspension, you go underneath, uh, check everything. Your airlines on the newer trailers, they've done a really good job of routing them. We don't have a huge issue with those, but you want to look them over. Uh, just a general overview of everything in here, anything that looks loose, like it's working, uh, cracked, or anything. Uh, this particular trailer has disc brakes. Uh, there's nothing we need to be concerned with on adjustment on these. There's nothing that we can address. What we do need to watch is lining thickness. And those are on either side of the, the rotor. And those need to be 8th inch minimum, which is basically the thickness of a nickel. If you have a trailer with drum brakes, or your truck has drum brakes, there is a video on uh, looking at drum brakes for adjustment. Uh, it's on the Pottles app. You can check that out and it shows you how to look at them and tell if they're an adjustment. And when we get to the back, one of the things that irks me the most, I think, we have too many light violations. I mean, that's, again, one of the easiest things on the truck to check. If you have a 2016 or newer truck, I think that's around unit 3170 and up, they have what's called pre-trip assistant on the dash. And you can go in that and it'll cycle through all the lights on the truck and trailer, headlights, taillights, brake lights, pack lights, the lights flash, you can walk around, you can check them all at once. There's another part, you can check your air leakage. You know, it's if you have it, you don't know how to use it, get with the shop. They'll take care of you, but it's a really neat system. If you have an older truck and you don't have that, it's probably going to take two trips to go back and check it. Best thing to do is turn your park lights on, come around, check all your lights. Go back up and hook a bungee cord onto your trolley handle for your brake down to hold it engaged on, all the way down and turn your four ways on and come back and make sure your four ways are working and your brake lights are on and you can also while you're back here listen for air leaks on the trailer and that'll basically kill two birds with one stone now remember on the back of these trailers you need at all times at least one brake light and a turn signal on each side if you have a turn signal out that's not a service violation if you get inspected you're going to get to call the shop and call for road service and sit there till it's fixed 
Now nobody wants to waste that kind of time and I mean that's also a huge safety risk. So if you have something like that, don't run with it because all it does is affect our ISS score with CSA and results in us getting more inspections which none of us want. If you And when you get the other side, you go up through and check everything over just like you did coming down the driver's side. Check your brakes, suspension, lights all the way around. If you're satisfied that everything's good, happy motoring. If you find something that's going to be an issue, get with the shop. They'll take care of you.